Okay, in this next example, they want the line written in all three forms, point, slope, slope, intercept, standard form, but they only give me a set of two points here. They don't give me any other information. So I am going to need to find the slope from that given information. So my slope formula, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 is what we will use. And this would be x1, y1, x2, y2. So fill that in, y2, 12, minus y1, 2, over x2, 2, minus x1, 7. So 12 minus 2 is 10, 2 minus 7, negative 5. 10 divided by negative 5, negative 2. So my slope is negative 2. Now we need to choose a point. I'm going to choose this one. To write it in point slope, I need the slope and a point. I'm choosing that point. We could also use this one. I'm choosing the first one. So in point slope, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. It's a good idea to write this every single time so that you get that committed to memory. If you write it every time, you'll commit it to memory. So that would be y subtract 2 equals our slope negative 2 times the quantity x subtract 7. So that's our point slope form. Now slope intercept. So to write it in slope intercept, we need this form, y equals mx plus b. So that means we need y solved for. So I'm going to take the form I have now, the point slope, and I'm going to get y by itself. So y minus 2 equals negative 2 times the quantity x minus 7. Okay, distribute the negative 2 in. y minus 2 equals negative 2x plus 14. Add the 2 so we get y by itself. Final, y equals negative 2x plus 16. So that is my slope intercept form. Now standard form, this one. Standard form was ax plus by equals c. So I'm going to start with my slope intercept and that was y equals negative 2x plus 16 slope, uh, pardon me, standard form has x and y on the same side, so I'm going to take this negative 2x and move it to the other side. When I do that, its sign changes. So it would be a positive 2x plus y equals 16. The y stayed positive because it didn't move. The 16 stayed positive because it didn't move. So final answer, I, didn't, I don't have to get rid of any fractions. I don't have to make the x term positive. It already is. So 2x plus y equals 16 is the standard form answer for that one. Okay, next example says write the equation for the linear function using the given values. Convert the equation to slope intercept and standard form. So they are giving me two points here. Remember this form right here, it's f of x equals y. Here it's f of x equals y. So they are giving me ordered pairs of negative 3 comma negative 20 from this point. And 4 comma 36 from this information. So they're just giving me two points. So we need slope. So we go to the slope formula for that. M equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So for me that would be 36 minus negative 20 flips to plus 20 over 4 minus negative 3 flips to 4 plus 3 so that would give me 56 over 7, which would reduce to 8. So my slope is 8. All right, so now that we have the slope here and a point, we'll use this one. We could choose either one. But we have a point and slope, so we'll write it in point slope first. So point slope, again, y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1. So for our line, that would be y plus 20 equals m is 8 times the quantity x plus 3. That's using this point right here. So that would be our point slope form. All right, we'll make some more room. So now we need to write it in slope intercept. So y equals mx plus b with slope intercept. So that means y by itself. So I'm going to start with my point slope form. y plus 20 equals 8 times the quantity x plus 3 and get y by itself. So I need to distribute first here and here. 
So I get y plus 20 equals 8x plus 24. Subtract the 20. Finally, I have y by itself, and it's y equals 8x plus 4. So that would be my slope intercept form, the y equals mx plus b. Next and last of all, we'll do standard form. Standard form was ax plus by equals c, so that means x and y on the same side. So I'll start with the slope intercept form, y equals 8x plus 4. Get x and y on the same side, so I'm going to take this 8x over to that side. So subtract it, so it would be a negative 8x plus y equals 4. Proper standard form says x term must be positive, so flip all of the signs. Flip that sign, that sign, that sign. So final answer would be positive 8x, subtract y equals negative 4. So that would be final answer in standard form. So point slope here, slope intercept here, standard form here, all for the same line. All right, last example here. Which of the following equations represents the given graph? Okay, so we have a multiple choice question here, so let's use our multiple choice test taking skills. First of all, I can see just looking at this line, my y-intercept is up here somewhere, so I have a positive y-intercept. My slope is going up, so I have a positive slope. So what I'm going to try to do is eliminate any equations with a negative slope. And A has a negative slope because the slope is negative 2 of that line, so I'm going to mark that one out. C has a negative slope. The slope is right there in point-slope form. C is written in point-slope. So I can mark that one out. So now I'm down to these two standard form lines. So what I can do is uh, it will be good practice to get y by itself for both of these, and that will give me a better estimate. Because if I get y by itself, I can see the y-intercept and the slope. So I'm going to take line b here, and let's get y by itself. So we start with negative 2x plus y equals 8. So just take the 2x to the other side by adding it, and I get y equals positive 2x plus 8. All right, maybe, maybe that's it. It has a positive y-intercept, a positive slope. Maybe that's it. Okay, now uh, line D over there, I'll move to this side. So line D is 2x minus y equals 8. So get y by itself here. I'm going to subtract the 2x more than one way to get there, but I'll subtract 2x there, so I'd get negative y equals negative 2x plus 8. Because my y is negative, I divide all terms by negative 1, shortcut, change all their signs. So y becomes positive, 2x becomes positive, 8 is now negative. So that has a positive slope, okay, but it has a negative y-intercept. There's no way my y-intercept is down here at negative 8. So line d is out. That only leaves me with line B, so we'll call that good enough.